Hi, today we are doing um, problem number one from the free response section uh, for engineering calc from exam one, spring 2011. So number one says an object moves in a straight line so that its position in meters after t seconds is given by the position function s of t equals to 2 over 2 plus t. Okay, and so part A asks us, what is the average velocity of the object on the interval 1 to 4 and include units? Okay, so whenever we're asked for average velocity on an interval, we can just use our formula on um, f of b minus f of a all over b minus a on the interval a to b. Okay, so in our case, our function is s of t and our interval is 1 to 4. So we're just going to do um, s of 4 minus s of 1 all over 4 minus 1. So if we plug in 4 into our original function, we get 2 over 2 plus 4. So that's 2 6, and 2 6 simplifies down to 1 third. Minus, and if we plug in 1 into our position function, we get 2 over 2 plus 1, which is 2 thirds all over 4 minus 1, which is just 3. Okay, so this we can simplify. So 1 third minus 2 thirds is negative 1 third, all divided by 3. And so this 3 we can just bring up, and so then it becomes negative 1 third times 1 third, which is equal to negative 1 ninth. So that is our average velocity, and we also have to include units. So our units are going to be meters per second, because it's, um, it's a rate. So it's negative 1 ninth meters per second. Okay, and so that is part A. So now for part B, they want us to write a formula for the average velocity of the object on the interval 1 to 1 plus h. Okay, and so this is for h not equal to 0 and for us to simplify the answer. So we're going to do the same thing here, but instead of using 4 and 1, we're going to be using 1 and 1 plus h. So it's going to be s of 1 plus h minus s of 1 all over 1 plus h minus 1. Okay, and so now let's simplify this. So s of 1 plus h is going to be 2 over 2 plus 1 plus h minus s of 1. We already um, figured that out, and it's 2 thirds. And so that's all over 1 plus h minus 1, so those 1's cancel out, so it's just h. Okay, and so now we can simplify this top a little, our numerator a little bit. So it's going to be 2 over 3 plus h minus uh, 2 thirds all over h. Okay, and so we want to be able to add the ter two terms together in our numerator, and to do that we have to get a common denominator. Okay, so our common denominator is going to be 3 times 3 plus h. So we have to multiply this term by 3 over 3, and this ter term by 3 plus h over 3 plus h. Okay, and so then that becomes the 2 times 3, so 6 over 3 times 3 plus h minus 2 times 3 plus h all over 3 times 3 plus h, then that's still all over h. And now we're going to combine these two into one single um, fraction. So it's going to be 6 minus, and we can just distribute this minus 2 onto both these terms, so it's going to be 6 minus 6 minus 2h, all over our 3 times 3 plus h, and then that's all over that h, but what we can do with that h is just multiply everything by 1 over h. Okay, we can keep simplifying, so we have 6 minus 6, so those cancel out, and then we have a minus 2h on the top and an h on the bottom, so this h cancels out with this h, and so we're left with just minus 2 all over 3 times 3 plus h. So this is a formula for the average velocity of the object on the interval 1 to some time after 1. And so we're done with B, and so now C asks us to use a limit to find the velocity of the object at the instant t equals 1 and to include units.
Okay, so let's work on CF here. Okay, so if we want to find the instantaneous velocity, we can use a limit of the average velocity. Because if we want to find the, um, the velocity when time is equal to 1, then we just do the limit as h approaches 0 using this interval. Because as, as h is approaching 0, then your interval is just 1 to 1, um, a tiny amount, um, after 1 second. And so you're going to be getting the instantaneous velocity at 1. So we're going to do the limit as h approaches 0 of the average velocity that we found using this interval, which was negative 2 over 3 times 3 plus h. Okay, so the limit as h approaches 0 of that, so we can just plug h equals 0 into it, and we're going to get negative 2 over 3 times 3, which is just negative 2 over 9, and so that's our instantaneous velocity, and we need to remember to include units, and so just like before, our units were meters per second because it's a rate, that's what our meters are right now as well, so it's meters per second. And that is our final answer for number 1.